Miller. She is a rookie that a lot are really excited to see if she got that block of Burke. Up the floor, Williams, pull up jumper. And Copper is gonna be a tremendous backcourt look. Miller, again, Burge defending well. Imagine they're looking for her to touch the ball early and often. Evans, the deep three, that one rattles in. Bano, inside Dauntis. Back and that Smith, that one, a lot of contact. Dauntis looking for the foul. Birch left her foot. Almost locked the handle. Evans now on the baseline, driving three on the shot clock as Smith puts it up and in. And finding some open looks, this is a team that you can just tell went extremely hard in training camp. To Hopper attacking. Somehow gets it to Williams. Beautiful pass, beautiful finish from Courtney Williams. The fans in Toronto, they had that question, the E question, that everybody has been wondering about expansion. And it's... Popper, pull up jumper, that one falls. And it almost seemed like, Amy, the beginning of the game, both teams kind of just getting those jitters out. North Philly, I mean, she's so tough. I loved, I loved watching that 2021 playoff run, but look how easy, it's, it's not surprising, but how about Kalia Copper getting into the paint and then with the pull-up jumper? Smith with the rejection. Diamond Miller comes up with a deflection and then picks up Copper one-on-one, -on -one, and here she is in transition. The scoop. Could not get that to fall. My apologies, I was... Maley, here's Gardner in transition, keeps it herself. Think of the Chicago fan base and, and what they're gonna show up and watch because these are competitors using her length to once again tip, deflect, and the strong finish, a little contact. <laughs> and so you're trusting players that are brand new to the league. I think they're doing a pretty nice job. Gardner attacking, gets caught. And that one's gonna go. And a great finish from Maylee as she puts that up and in to end the first quarter. But then how about the cut off ball from Maylee and the strong finish inside. That's great by design. Works off Anigwe. Gets it to her on the cut. Nice turnaround jumper as Anigwe gets that to fall. And Fitzgerald with the patience and the retreat dribble draws the double and then gets it right through the window. That's a nice assist inside. Or Anigwe steps up to set the screen and then Rolls quickly, and that's a window, so when you step up to trap that... Oh, and the bench was up. The crowd was ready for that one. Birch gets behind the defense as she lays that up and in. Going to stop. Look at the intensity in terms of running, finding lanes, getting to the spots. A nice pass inside, but you also saw Brie Beal staying wide. Birch with Miller. Dante says she lost the handle in Nigue came up with it. Chicago lead. Miller defending. Trying to get that second bounce, but Smith was able to beat her to the hoop. That time, Kayla McBride control on the ball, because she's a scorer. Heck of a stop and a pick there, but she can score. Birch baseline jumper. Carlton attacking. Kicks. Williams in the passing lane. Gotta find a little more rhythm. Carlton attacking, poked away from behind. Williams to Copper. Attacking. Count the bucket and the foul. Believes it's always going in. Courtney Williams with the drive, but then you see the open little circle. Three white jerseys rotate over, but no one wants to step up and take a charge. And that's my favorite offense. You go until someone takes a charge. It's the strong finish. And yes. Evans. Now Copper, seven seconds. Attacking powers. Pull up jumper. That's too clean. Having all these activities, events, but then also just having it on the court, too. It's incredible. New Hawks. He's going to get that tied up. Smith did a great job defending that. Look at the patience inside. Oh, Smith Smith got her hand off. Rebecca Lobo, LaChina Robinson talking about just 
her versatility and her size and how she has such great footwork and the development of it as Copper gets that pull-up jumper to go in transition. A different layer of intensity. Williams, nice pass. Here's Birch. She drops that in. Big <laughs> That's shot fun. block and stuff. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Copper, another foul line jumper. She gets that to go and, and find the right angle. You get these glimpses of what she's going to be if she keeps working. Leah Copper right to the hoop again. Hand off to Williams. Eight on the shot clock for Chicago. Williams inside Smith. Count the bucket and the foul. Well, they're going to tag you, Haas, with that one. Staying up top, watch. Oh, there you go. Those arms come down right there. What a nice, strong finish from Smith. A whole lot of room to operate in the paint. And, and that's a great finish. You saw it. Mitchell lost her footing. Daunt is trying to track down the ball. Smith comes up with it, gets it to Birch. Up the floor, Gardner gets behind the defense, lays it up and in. We're tied at 51. And it is fun to watch. Watch right here. You can see a little out of control. The dive on the floor. Look at the ball. One dribble, and it's up there. And a nice finish from Gardner, but now they're pumped up. I mean, it's quickly down the floor goes the rookie. Trying to get something in her favor, and they call the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Minnesota. Park steps into it and connects. She shot that with confidence. Trailer. Parks gets it and connects. Opposite side three this time for Robin Parks. Gardner kicks it. One more Parks in the corner. And she connects from long range. That's three threes for Parks in this ball game. Robin Parks, the VCU. Look at that wide open in the corner. A little late on the rotation down. And you've got to show confidence. There was some space created on the shot. It didn't matter. Trailer, long two. And she pulls up off the inbound. We call those the Ikeas. Everything but the finish. The attack, the footwork, the spin. Parks again. She is four for six from beyond the arc. Oh, look at the face. Oh, you're not going to guard me? No, I can do that. We like to go fishing up north, too. Right into the pocket, the trail, two feet down, let her fly. The conversation continues to be had. It's important. It has to be had. It's part of growing the game. Nice jumper there from the trailer. Ends up with it, up the floor, tried to thread the needle. And it's taken away by Anigwe. And then Beal takes it away. Opening night on May 19th. Yes, they will do it again in six days, ladies and gentlemen. This is just an appetizer as Trailer knocks down the three. 19 assists on the afternoon. And look at the ball movement from Chicago. And you know what? One point ball game. Trailer left open. That one is short. Anigwe there for the follow. Trailer. Pulls and connects again. <laughs> three for three trading buckets here back and forth. And trailer having a great second half here. Ten points. Two of five from beyond the arc. Copper, two seconds on the shot clock. That doesn't go. Anigwe back packs it. Trailer connects again, and Coach Reed wanted a foul on Anigwe on that rebound. Mailey gets back to Evans. Eight on the shot clock. Birch, so she gets back to go. Copper will come back, has a lane to the hoop, lays it up and in. Could have easily been an and one foul as she is still down. You want to talk about taking over a ball game? Watch this. She waves everybody off. She faked us out. Like, okay, she's going to calm it down. Oh, no, no, no. As soon as Taylor Soul got just a little bit out of her position, that's the blow by right there. Canada, welcome to the North. That's a nice, strong finish.